Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines Fix It, where you send me your cities and I fix up the problems. This is the city that we're going to be fixing today, sent to me by Stephen Galloway and it does have a heck of a lot of problems. If you want to send me your city, just upload the save to the Steam Workshop, send me the link and just uh, you know do it on Twitter or in the comments of this video, something like that and just give me a little um, sentence or two about what you would like me to fix particularly in the city so let's come out of this lovely little mode that we're looking around and take a look at what's going on here let's just pause the game a moment so we can first of all see we have huge trash problems going on in the city um, and I'm wondering whether a lot of that is caused by traffic traffic flow is 84% so not terrible not terrible you've got I'm surprised it's so high, I'll be honest. You've got this little one-way system that's going around here, which is causing a bit of a, a snarl up on there. So we may change that a bit. You've got a few little extra roads coming on and off the highway, which is always helpful. So that's good. Uh, over here, traffic. Let's have a look what's going on here. So you've got traffic can come off of here onto the highway, and then they can get down here if they wish. They can't go this way, though. Is there ways for traffic to come in this way? No. This road here is pointless. So we might as well just delete. Is this a two-way road here? It is. So we could have that as coming in. Let's fix that now as I've spotted it. So we'll grab our highway ramp. Turn that one around. There we go. So they can come down here. That is two lanes, isn't it? Yes. So that's a way to come in that way. Um, and you have coming in that way, but you don't have going out that way. Which we could fix. And what have you got going on down here? So let's have a look at... I use the Watch It mod down the side here so we can see what we need. Garbage processing status extremely, extremely low. Now, do you have the option of the incineration plant? You do. And that's going to take a chunk of money. But I think that would be a good idea. I'm wondering whether we should have... I mean, I'd like to put in two, but I think that's going to be too much at the moment. Um, I think over here would be a good idea. So if I put it somewhere here, we're going to get a heck of a lot of traffic going up on this road and out. But I think we might just sort of have to deal with that. So let us put it there. And we'll just let that whir away and start dealing with all this. You are making money, so that's not too bad. And you are growing. But let's see if we can solve some of these, these traffic issues. So I can see what you've done here. You've sort of made... Let's go back to traffic again. You've made this as if it's like a little roundabout going around here. Which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, I would instead maybe have a larger road coming down the middle here. And you've done the same sort of thing over here as well. I would perhaps have a larger road coming down the middle there. And change this to a roundabout at the start. You've got plenty of room. It's going to mean getting rid of some of these houses that you've got here. But I definitely think that's going to be worth doing. Just to help things move a little bit more smoothly here. And to stop all this. I mean, I imagine the traffic's getting worse the longer the game's running. Let's have a look. 84%. Yeah. So let's just see what we can do here. I am going to delete... Uh, a few of these roads and accidentally delete some of the power cables as well. Just to give us a little bit of space. What's that you've got? Go oh, you've got a path running down there. Oh, okay. That's good. Although, it doesn't connect to anything. Yeah, so we'll come back to that path in a minute. Um, okay, let's see what we can do in here. So I'm going to put in a little basic roundabout. Nothing too complicated. And then we can always upgrade it a little bit later if we want to. Okay, there we go. We've got the roundabout up. And as you've seen me do before, we want to just go into these junctions. Make sure there's no stop signs anywhere, which there isn't. Uh, using traffic manager, we're just going to say these guys have to give way when they come onto the highway. 
just to help things run a bit smoothly. I think that's a one-way road coming off of there, so we don't need anything there. And then these guys here are going to have to give way as well. Excellent. And we've just got to give it a little bit of time for things to start moving smoothly. And then also we're going to put the junction on here. And we're going to say, yep, that's fine. If you want to enter the junction. Uh, already says it on there. That one's already on. Those are already on. And we'll have that one on there as well. Yep, that's fine. So that should just keep things moving nicely. Now, you are going to get a lot of problems here. It seems that you've got this road coming off, which is then crossing there. I can see what you've done. You've tried to give an extra way for the traffic to come in here. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Let's just pause that for a second. This seems to me somewhere where we could use the roundabout builder. So let's give that a go. Okay, we're going to grab the two-lane highway. 40 is probably... That is quite large. I am going to drop that down to 30. I think that will be fine. Let's just drop that in. There we go. Get the game to start running again. Let's get rid of that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Once they've all worked out what's going on. And then we can do the same as what we've done on the other one. Yep, give way, give way. Oh, it's done it all automatically for us. That roundabout thing is fantastic. We can just delete some of these that are overlapping. There we go. And that would just help that to move a little bit smoother. I mean, in fact, I would just make sure as well that none of these trucks are coming down there, joining this, and then immediately going off around there. Because that could cause problems. So what I would do... Do we have any other connections? We've got this connection here. Is I'm thinking of even just deleting this off of there. To keep this running smoothly. Okay, a couple of other things you want to do here. You don't want this crossroad here. You don't want people to get across there. They can use the roundabout if they want to go around. And you're getting a lot of lane merging over here. So I've just put in here. There we go. Only this lane can turn right. These two have to go straight on. So that is going to help to keep things running smoothly. There we go. And it's going to stop all of this sort of bunching up and changing lanes and all that sort of thing. Uh, you've also got one road coming off of here. And then three lanes plus another one lane going into three lanes again. So I would, in fact, even upgrade or downgrade this piece of road here to one way. There we go. So then you've just got the two lanes coming in. And you've got an extra third lane if that is needed. So once this runs for a while and everybody realizes where they're going and we haven't got all these garbage trucks heading to one place we'll stop this happening now while we wait for that traffic uh, to go down a bit i've also noticed as well you've got everybody here and everybody down here so the majority if not yeah all of your 11 12 000 population all coming through that one highway junction there as you can see the traffic there's a lot of people coming up here i mean this is moving a lot better now which is nice there we go. It's freed up. Very good, very good. Running out of power. We'll, we will fix that. There we go. Power is back. So, yeah, that's moving much smoother than it was before, which is good. A lot of people are coming down here to turn around as well, which tells me that these guys here, yeah, we need some better connections over this side. So let's have a look at our power. What are we doing? Electric availability is quite low. Let's check out our budget. Well, we've got some room to manoeuvre here. Let's just up our budget a little bit. Taxes, 11% on everything. So you're doing okay. Let's just leave that as it is. And we're starting to get some more demand as well, which is going to be helpful. So, let's just concentrate on this side for a moment and see how we can help the people coming in and out of here. So, let's use the traffic routes tool that we have here and just select this piece of road here. So, everybody's leaving in this area via this road. So, it gives us a rough idea of where the traffic's going. And if we have a look at the private vehicles, there we go. Uh, in fact, we could put on there cyclists and pedestrians. Yeah. So all the private vehicles, you can see a heck of a lot of them are coming up here, of course, because everybody works here. But a lot of them are then going right through the middle of that part of your city, all the way down to here, which is almost like 
another part of your city. So we could do with a better junction here. And I would definitely say a highway through to down here. So it gives people two options of getting onto the highway. So maybe a little something like this. Okay, there we go. Just something like that. And you're too... Uh, edges of this industrial area are connected into the sides of the roundabout this one here is going to get a little bit busy so what i would perhaps do here i mean i'm trying not to rebuild your streets entirely is i would say you can only go right there we go so you're not cutting across anybody and i would say you can only go there there we go so people have to come in that direction and go in that direction so just stopping a bit of crossing over there but everything's moving nice and smoothly i've done the normal thing with the priority signs on the roundabout and the crossing signs so they can just keep moving through the junctions and that is keeping that a bit uh keeping that a bit free of traffic so that road you had that came all the way back across here was basically where everybody was coming in and that was really chock-a-block and this is now moving nice and smoothly excellent so we've got this little uh, road here we can now run a highway connection all the way down to this area somewhere down here i would in fact i mean just to keep it nice and quick and simple i would in fact even just add a little highway on there um, if you're going to start adding roads to a highway, you want to brace it like that. I would then upgrade that to actual highway road all the way around. There we go. And then I'm going to use the dual road mod. Let's just get rid of that one there. Parallel roads mod. Have same as selected. Uh, toggle snapping for existing nodes. That should go like that. Let's make that... 32 and turn that one the other way is that toggle reverse direction for the road yeah oh hang on i've got it on aha there we go so that should okay we do it on this one and that should go through yep yeah, that's fine is that the right way yeah we'll sort that connection out and we can run that well let's see it's going to start getting quite expensive Fifty-two thousand. yeah it's going to cost us a lot of money but when you can afford it, I would definitely run a road up there. And something else I would do, just in this little area here, because you've got this junction and you really don't want to get it all blocked up with cars, is I would just remove these industries that you've got just here. And I've also removed this road because it was at another junction too close to this junction here. So hopefully that will help. I mean, I... Even a teeny tiny, and just delete these businesses here that aren't going. There we go, just those. Even a teeny tiny little roundabout there would make all the difference. Uh, but until we can move this, that isn't going to happen. So let's have a look. Could we empty that one? Building is emptying. Yeah, so 50% full. When this is empty, I would even put a little teeny tiny feeder roundabout onto our main roundabout. But certainly traffic off of there is going much, much smoother. So there's still a lot of problem with the trash. We do not have enough garbage processing. Um, and that is probably down to the fact. Let's have a look around and see what you've got. So you've got nothing down this end of the map. Okay. Um, what else have we got here? We've got the one incinerator we put in. Yeah, it's all coming from over here, all four of these. And because some of these are emptying, so that's 47% full. That was 33% full. That one is full, and that is emptying. And this one is emptying as well. So, yeah, that's probably not going to help. And also, you really want to spread out where all your garbage trucks come from. Even in a little area like this, we could quite happily put in one of these recycling centers. Just put it away from where any people live. Can we sort of squeeze it down here? Yeah, that'll do down there. Has it got water pipes and electricity? Yeah, water pipes, yes. Electricity any second now. Let's grab that and just run that from there to there. There we go. And that will help starting to clear up the trash from this neck of the woods as well. Okay, something else I've just noticed looking at this is with your big roads you've got going down the middle, these one-way these one -way roads, um, if anybody on this side wants to get across to this side, they can't because you've got one way coming through there, one way coming through there, and then it's this roundabout. So that's probably why you've got a heck of a lot of traffic. I'm just wondering whether 
we could just switch those two to two-way. I don't know whether it's going to cause a huge issue because it's getting quite busy. Let's just switch them like that and see how that goes. And you might just find... Let's just have a look at that again. If they come up there, went through there... And all of these are one-way coming out. Yeah, I, I think the fact that you've put all of these one-way roads in, you haven't got any two-way feeder roads. So if you're going to have one way going through an area like this, you've got one way down, one way up, one way down, one way up. You need the roads at the end to be two-way. Otherwise, the system doesn't work. Um, and also maybe the roads in the middle. We could change these to two-way as well. What sort of size road have you got there? It's quite a small road, isn't it? I would even, in fact, down the middle there, add a small four-lane road through here. So let's just run that through here. And then it gives people more options of where they want to go. And this one here. So still keep the, the one-way roads going up and down. There we go. And then maybe even this one at the end and then the one at the other end. Because then it means somebody who's here... If they want to come up and go along and here, they can. Whereas before, they had to go up, go this way, go all the way down there, then go across there, then come up there. And it's really sort of, yeah, messing with your traffic. So I can see what you're trying to do, but just this little tweak, I think, is going to help things quite well. Uh, that's turned into this road up here along the top, isn't it? Yeah, I would even, in fact, as this is one of the outside roads, make this. There we go this four lane road all the way along like that and then you've got the same on the other side as well so i'll just do those and what i was thinking as well just until we can afford to run this highway all the way across to the other side if we just do actually not that do i have my little junction in here possibly not because i'm only using the assets you've got okay that's fine so we might just have this go down into a basic six lane road like this there we go and again you could add a roundabout down here if you wanted to or something like that but i think we'll just connect that to there because, I mean, you've got this road coming in. You could have a connection there. This one here. Yeah. Maybe a little roundabout in there would be a good idea. Let me connect those up again for you. There we go. Just to keep things running smoothly. I've just used the standard roundabout that comes with the game. And then you've even got this road here if you wish to expand out to another area. Let's take a look at our traffic much much better this is moving nicely i've just removed the industry just right next to there we go where this comes out i would even perhaps remove this connection here if needed but it seems okay this is running nicely this is running nicely and this is running nicely over here as well now before everybody points it out to me i just realized i've connected to over here <laughs> with that road instead of connecting to down here well we do actually have a decent amount of money now so yeah you could run that down there what i've done as well is just to help move things along is i've changed all of these to two-way roads uh, and i'm even going to change this one here because you've got these one-way roads and it's basically just stopping people going where they want to go you want the outside as two-way and then inside you can have as up and down that is fine like this over here you've got the outside as two-way all the way around and then the inside you've got up and down i would even have this through road here as two-way there we go up to that little cross junction like you've got these ones here and that's just going to keep things moving nicely uh, these roads down here I mean, they're okay. I use these for farms, but they're not the fastest road ever. But, yeah, well, I think we can leave them as they are. They're doing okay. So, the issues of the trash is pretty much taken care of. There's only a few little ones around here and there. Uh, we've got a lot of death going on. Now, I don't have the automatic bulldoze mod on, but if I did, a lot of these buildings would go and they would be replaced because um, oh, demand mass is popping up. But if you have a look at the green down the bottom there, you can see there is a, still a big need for people moving in. So, I think I'm just going to put the automatic bulldoze mod on and... We're going to see what disappears and whether it starts building up again. Okay, so now we've dealt with quite a few of the major problems. Let's just run the game with 
the automatic bulldoze mod on. As you can see down here, it's going to automatically bulldoze anything that's abandoned and all that sort of good stuff. Anything that's burned down, anything that's collapsed, and anything that's flooded. And it will take... I think every 30 seconds it does it or something like that. So we're going to leave that running for a while. We've obviously got some death care issues that need to be taken care of. So we can sort of help with that. Garbage processing is getting better. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. Let's have a look at our death care coverage. How are we looking here? So we do have cemeteries. Let's just make sure they're not all filled up. So we've got one over there. We've got one over there. And nothing up there. So again... Probably the fact that we've got nothing this way and also the way the roads are all set up would have made a big difference to um, how that would have all worked. So let's just pop a little crematorium. We'll put that in there. That will make people happy and that will start to collect the deceased that we have around there. Well, the dead have certainly been removed and why not expand a bit? Because we do have a great big need... Let's just grab this road down here. There we go. So we've got the one-way road that you've been using, and I'm just going to do the same sort of thing that you did. So that one's that way, that one's this way. Let's just grab a road through there. There we go. And we possibly could even fit one more through there. Let's bring that down a touch. So I think the city is, there we go, a lot healthier than it was before. We're making money and people just want to move in, which is fantastic. Uh, I would, in fact, put a nice load of high-density housing in this section. It's not going to get as full as I would like because of the hill, but that's okay. There we go. Very good. And even a few more shops. We could have a few more shops down here. Excellent. We'll let all those move in. Let the city expand. And then back over here to the main part of the city, I would even put a park in this area here. So at the moment, these guys are all complaining, not enough workers. Well, we've just taken care of that, hopefully. Uh, I would delete all of these down here and remove that. And I would make this a nice park. So if we grab that there... There we go. And that would cheer people up no end to have a lovely park right outside where they live. There we go. Nothing too complicated, but a nice little park area just to sort of cheer up all of your citizens in this city. Now, something you don't have in this city is, I believe, you don't have any mass transit at all. Let's take a look. So you have no buses, trams, trains, yeah, nothing at all in this city. And just taking a quick look around, I mean, we could easily have a ferry connection going across here. That would be quite good. There we go. We've got a ferry running over there. We could even have it run all the way over here and add another ferry stop on this side of the city to help these people get backwards and forwards. That might be a good idea as well. That's it. There we go. We've added that into the stop. I mean, you could even run it all the way through here. And round to this side as well to help people get over here. Or maybe a ferry stop that way. You've got so many options. And you've got the money. Oh, look at this. This is all nicely built up as well. Look at that. And you've got the money as well. You're making money. Uh, you can see here we need more schools and high schools and university. You have the money for that. So this city, I think, I would say is fixed. And it's got the money to go on and expand and do much, much better. So would you like me to fix your city? Upload it to the Steam Workshop. Send me the link either on Twitter or in a comment on this video. And let me know what needs fixing in the city. And I would absolutely love to take a look. If you've enjoyed this series, hit the big B with a T-star staying to subscribe and check out the other video on the screen as well thank you very much for watching i will see you soon take care everybody bye bye